So H is for honey in our A to Z of well-being and what an amazing natural substance, not only really tasty and sweet to eat, but surprisingly good for the skin as well. You can actually use honey in so many ways in skincare. It's often used as a skincare ingredient, but you can actually take some plain neat honey and rub it into your skin. You can use it as a cleanser, just rinse it off. You can add it to homemade face masks. It's very high sugar content, makes it very moisturizing. But there's a lot more than just sugar in honey. It has so many benefits. It's antibacterial, it's antiviral, it's antifungal. And this is because when the bees make honey, they produce an enzyme called hydrogen peroxide, which has all these beneficial medicinal properties and they make it so they can actually protect their own hive. And in fact, they also make other substances like propolis, which is an antibacterial waxy substance that they use to coat at the entrance of their hives as they go in and out to make sure that no nasty bugs go in and infect the hive. So they really are incredibly hard working and it's an extraordinary substance. So much so that you'll actually find honey used in medicinal language as well. It's used for dressings, um, doctors, even in hospitals now are using honey for wound dressing. You can find it online in all kinds of patches that you can put onto minor burns and cuts to speed wound healing. Honey has been around probably since the beginning of time. And in fact, they found jars of honey in the ancient Pharaoh's tombs, still actually edible, incredibly. So it really does last a long time. So whichever way you enjoy your honey, just make sure you check the label before you buy, because as with most things, provenance is key. Watch out for weasel wording, really, that says it's a blend of honeys from more than one country, especially if it says non-EU, because frankly, it could have come from anywhere and the Chinese are known to adulterate their honey production by just feeding the bees sugar syrup rather than letting them feast on real wild flowers. I actually always prefer to look for the name of the beekeeper or the area where the honey was produced and then you know that you're really getting the real deal. Not just honey but you can also use propolis, you can buy bee pollen, so many wonderful ways to enjoy this incredible natural food. And to find lots more on honey and some great recipes, simply head to lizellwellbeing.com.